The implementation of new technologies like blockchain and AI have huge potential for the banking industry, but for some areas there are greater applications than others. In this chapter, Matthew Cox, Wholesale Banking Practice Leader at EY, talks us through which industries could possibly have the greatest impact. The arrival of new technologies could really revolutionise banking. What do you think will have the biggest impact? Honestly, I don't think there's one specific technology. What I think, you know, if you look historically, mobile banking or, you know, more specifically mobile applications have a huge impact in terms of what was happening. Now we have multiple technologies that actually are additive to each other. So I think the bigger change is the combination of technology and how you're looking at it. So if you look at, you know, uh, intelligent character recognition, you take uh, machine learning and you take I AI and you combine them together, right, there's significant impact um, to, to the way the customer are doing it, the customer experience, and how you know, banks can be more efficient. So which banking processes will benefit the most from the arrival of new technologies? I, I, I do think all of them will have a significant impact um, based on this. I think you know, banks that aren't either reinventing or reimagining their process, or at a minimum, enhancing their existing processes with these technologies are not going to stay competitive, right? I think that's kind of fundamental. More specifically though, you know, I see the biggest challenge in the operations space. So the, the technology has the opportunity to fundamentally change the way operations teams support things, such as client onboarding and product onboarding. Today, at least in the wholesale space, it takes anywhere from two weeks to two months to onboard a client, and it even gets more complex if you look international and from a multinational perspective. So utilizing these technologies throughout those process will enable the operations to be more effective, um, you know, better manage their risk tolerance, and ultimately focus on you know, the client experience in a more effective way. And I think you know, broadly, right now it's very costly, both from a time, a dollars, um, as well as just a employee satisfaction and engagement perspective. So technology in the operation space, in my opinion, specifically on onboarding and, and product onboarding, has a you know, huge opportunity to increase um, adoption. And finally, we hear so much around the arrival of both blockchain and also of AI. Do you think there is a chance for these two technologies to like really work together and what could they produce? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, as I touched a bit before, I think the intersection or how technologies work together in an additive way is probably the most significant opportunity in the industry. So if you take what you mentioned, right, I think there's really three components. There's a network. So if you look at a blockchain, Internet of Things, or even a Swift, right, there's the data that the network actually generates. And then ultimately, there's the tools like AI and business intelligence that sit on top of the network, right? The combination of these three things allows for much deeper insight across clients, across the industries, the buyers, suppliers, kind of end to end and actually how they're looking at it. So it allows banks to be a lot more insightful and predictive in the intelligence they're actually providing um, and be more differentiated. Again, all this focuses back on the client experience and what they're doing and I think these technologies enable it. We're, we're in an area now where we actually have more data versus less. Yeah. So it's how you actually narrow the focus of the data to get meaningful insights to really deliver value that's going to be most effective. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.